What is up? Phil back again. Another video on my channel here. Um, taking a look at this guy here. It's a 116 scale case 1030 Western Special Prestige Classics number 15. This came out I think in 2001. It's a very old precision series from Ertl. A part of the original uh, beginning of the precision series it's uh, really old as you can see by the box it's uh, got some wear and tear but the tractor's in really great shape the box always had I remember the box was always having this really nice detail and stuff pictures close-up pictures of course it's it says precision series Number 15 on the corner there. And this thing came out in 2001, so that's 23 years old, or 22 years old this year. All right, we'll move on to the star of the show, the Case 1030 Western Special Precision Series. All right, and here it is, the Ertl 116 scale case, 1030 Western Special Precision Series Classics number 15. Really, really cool looking tractor here, guys. It's pretty, it's pretty, pretty awesome. As far as the real tractor, the case 1030 on tractor data, it says JI case 1032, 66 through 69. It says the JI Case 1030 Western Special was Case Model 1032 as compared to the General Purpose Model 1031. The Western Special had a shorter wheelbase, larger fenders, and an optional wide swing drawbar. They made 13,763 and it was $10,300 in 1969. PTO horsepower tested 101.7. Drawbar tested 88.34. Pretty powerful tractor for its day and age. Um, like the look and design of them really well. I'm gonna take the weights off. They just push right on there. They got these two little pins. And they push in, but I don't want to lose them. They, they come with the weights. The plastic's still on them. And I'm gonna leave the plastic on them. It's probably a good idea. I'm gonna leave it on there. I did take the plastic off the tires and stuff. It's a really classic looking old tractor and with it being pre precision series, it's got nice details. I noticed this little wire here is loose. Hooks in right there, I believe. I, I can glue that back. I, I, don't, I don't know if I did it or it came like that, but it's not really a big deal. I can glue that. <clears throat> Here's your drawbar. It's got that swinging drawbar. I think what it was saying is your PTO. Got some hydraulic lines running back on either side here. Nice definite uh, detailed rear end and everything there. Of course you got your uh, fuel tank here. Case Comfort King. Here's a <coughs> arc light on the fender. <coughs> Pardon me. Driver station's really detailed there too. Black seat with the desert sunset trim. Black steering wheel, nice levers. I'm guessing this is probably the throttle that does move. That's pretty cool. That moves. Nice little handles here to get up into the driver's station. Got a gear shift down there. Some foot pedals on either side. Some uh, more levers over here on the right hand side of the driver. It's a uh, really nice detailed, what you would expect from a prestige or a pre precision series Ertl tractor. Nice steps, both sides of the tractor for entry to the driver station. Here's your decaling, 1030 out here near the end by the grill area. Case, Comfort King on the black stripe over top the engine compartment area. Your hood there, classic looking 30 series hood. Got an intake out here, silver muffler cap here as well engine details and components really detailed of course seeing that it's a precision series tractor 
I mean, look at the little lines running all over. <laughs> it's really impressive little, uh, little uh, detailed, highly detailed replica there. Your front grill, the classic 30 series styling. Got, I think that's Abe, the Eagle. And then your insert and headlights. As I said, the weights do go in there just like so. I leave them off during this review. Don't want to mess them up. It's a really nice detailed tractor here. Here's your underneath. Looks pretty cool. Your tires, all four around, all rubber, of course. And look there. <laughs> Tire on backwards, of course. I, this is probably my fourth tractor where the tire is on backwards. Look at that. Nice. I got one with the tire on backwards. Yes. This ain't the lot, first one I've had like that, believe me. But I think uh, this here, I don't know if this was made in USA still back then. I think it was. I'll, we'll look at the box here in a minute. But, uh, yep, rear tire on backwards. They're big, fat Western Special tires. Most like a rice tire, maybe. The wheel on the rear, the case, flame blue red in there on the inner part and the outer rim silver. Front wheel is a little uh, four rib. Then your or your front tire, your front wheel, flame blue red, silver rim, outer rim. The front end is very detailed as well. Steering mechanism, I thought, looks good. Let's look at this box real quick. Oh no, made in China. Made in China. Yep, China's good for putting tires on backwards. Here's another one. I just got this off eBay. It was like $170 plus shipping. I mean, I, I, that's about as cheap as I've ever seen it here lately. So that's why I grabbed it. Um, I didn't notice on, on the pictures that the tire was on backwards. But uh, I'm not going to really mess with it. So we'll leave it as is. It just makes me laugh when I see that. that uh, that gets past Earl's QC in China, apparently. <laughs> All right, I'll do a quick comparison. Let's uh, do that now. All right, everybody, here's my Case 1030 Western Special Precision Series alongside a Case 1070 Agri King from the 90s. The most familiar thing on the Agri King in the 30 series or the fender design is kind of similar with the flat, you know, flat on the ends and flat on the top. But uh, other than that, it's a pretty dramatic redesign between the two tractors, I think. All right, everybody, I'll move on to some final thoughts. Let's do that now. All right, Case 116 scale 1030 Western Special by Ertl. The Precision Series number 15. It's a pretty nice replica, even if that tire is on backwards. <laughs> it, that can be aggravating, but like I said, I've had multiple tractors where tires are on backwards. Hey, Ertl, you really need to take a look at your QC um, over there in China. It's pretty not, not always the best. This is a pretty cool replica, especially being so detailed with the Precision Series. All right, everybody, I'll close out my video. I want to thank everybody that always tunes in. This is Phil. Y'all have a blessed day. We'll talk again soon.